Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is most likely going to be one of the shortest videos I've ever put out. I have my youngest one at home sick. I'm unable to work, but because I am a little bit obsessed with do it, doing things for myself all the time and because I cannot just randomly sit around and do nothing, I decided to pull some fabric, make a little bit of a share room with my son's little day bed and set up his TV. And I pulled some fabric out and I decided to do something for myself. This weekend I have a bridal show that I have to attend and I needed something new and different to wear. And so as you all know by now, and if you don't, let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Sylvia and I'm a fabric addict mostly scuba addict. So I had this scuba for quite a while now and I used it before for some of my clients. I had about one and a half yard left over and I wasn't sure what to do with it. Originally I was planning for a jacket and for a pair of pants. I wanted to look chic. I want to wear this with a black shirt, business shirt underneath, but obviously I had to wake up and smell the roses. I obviously didn't have enough fabric. And so what I normally do, I step back, I put the fabric on a dress form and I see how it drapes. If you watch any of my videos, I will always use the same line. I absolutely love to let the fabric pretty much take its shape and I want to see how it gets alive. So luckily this scuba, it almost stands on its own. It's such a beautiful texture. It's very thick. This weekend is going to be incredibly cold. So I decided to make a dress. Nothing fancy. Obviously I'm looking after my son. I will be distracted a lot. I do not need crazy pattern. I just need to simplify it. I just need to create something really easy to sew, not incredibly complicated, just something that will take me only a couple of hours. And I did come up with this idea. I created a bit of fabric manipulation on the neckline. I wasn't really sure where to place the zipper in the beginning. I was putting it on the side, in a side seam, at the back, on the shoulders, asymmetrical. I just want to play with it purely and I want to see how it's going to come alive. My dog helped me as well. She spends so much time around with me. And if you ever put something together, you probably most of the time start with a plan, but by the end of it, it's going to come up as something else. And purely this is what exactly what happened today. I started with something and it turns out into something that I'm so proud. I'm so happy. Stick until the end so you see the result. In the meantime, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video. It will tremendously help me to see where I'm going with this and if I'm passing out the right message. Is it worth it or not to make your own clothes? For me, it does worth. This fabric came into my hands probably for a couple of dollars. And if you go to any fabric stores, it's good scuba fabric with a coupon, it shouldn't cost you probably more than $10, $15. However, I only had a yard and a half and I had to be very mindful of how I place it. So I place around, I also want to be using the pattern. When you have something so specific at this pattern, it's very forgiving in stitches because you don't really see if one of your stitching it's wobbly or you don't go straight because you're distracted. But at the same time, if you don't place it correctly and it's not even, it's going to look very weird. So that's saying I start playing around and I start pinning my dress form. And it literally came alive right under my eyes. This dress, it's beautiful, it's comfortable, it's easy to wear. It only took me a couple of hours to sew to drape and sew. Always remember, if you have a dress form that is not exactly your size, learn your measurements, drape the actual fabric and the pattern, whatever you're planning to do, drape them on a dress form in 3D. When you take them down and unpin and put that on the, on the table, on the floor, wherever you're going to work, make sure you measure and that 2D form, turn it into your measurements. And so this way, whenever you sew them back, they will be absolutely your size. That's how I learned to translate the dress form size to my size, because obviously I am a small frame, much smaller frame than my actual dress form. 
So it's very simple. It's a bit of a detail up in the neckline, has an exposed back zipper. I've also allowed myself to have a bit of playful look by having exposed darts at the front and at the back. I have splits both sides and I also have a longer back than the front. For the hem of my uh, front, it's a little bit quilted. And did I mention the side seam pockets? They are deep and nice and they're just enough for my phone, my business cards and my lip gloss. So pockets are always a must for me. I just want to keep creating things. I want to change the way we look at ourselves. Can I have my own style? Do I have to look like everyone else? Can I save money while I'm doing that? Absolutely, yes. I am myself. I'm saving a ton of money. I do not have to look for clothes from one store to another trying to find an identity. I'm actually creating my own identity on a budget. What more than that can I want? I might not be the best model, but I definitely am the best in making myself shine and creating the best things that work for me. Just a quick tip as well. If you ever decide to make something like this, just know the scuba fabric, it's actually very stretchy fabric. But because I have such a small frame, the only zipper that I need is the one that allows me to put my dress over my head. If you by any chance have a slightly bigger figure, I would suggest for you to have a hidden zipper or an exposed zipper inside seam so you have an easier access. I really didn't need that. So for me, it was easier to use just the actual shape of the dress. For me, it was easy to have access to my dress just to the back zipper. I originally started this idea by trying to have two side zippers exposed. Anyway, I changed that idea a couple of times and I come, up, come back with an easier option considering how my day was going. I hope you enjoy my video and I hope you enjoy the result. Please don't forget to subscribe, like my video, come back, visit me again. I'll be glad to have you here again and share with you everything I know and share with you all my projects. Take care for now. Have a wonderful afternoon.